Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. President Paul Bia could not return to Cameroon as announced a few days ago by some of his supporters. The president has seen his health deteriorate further in recent days. Leaving Washington DC a few days ago, Paul Bia was already undergoing treatment. This care should be completed once he arrives in Geneva, Switzerland, where he is often rehabilitated by experienced doctors. According to our sources in Geneva, the plane of Paul Bia and his suit was supposed to take off since last week, but the return trip to Yaoundé has been postponed to a later date. This news, in addition to the fact that the president is under care, clearly means that Bia is still not out of the woods. One can even imagine that his health has deteriorated. Recall that the trip made by Paul Bia last May 2022 to Geneva was supposed to be the last that the Cameroonian head of state makes in the Swiss capital. According to the Swiss press, which unfortunately had access to his health report, the oldest head of state in office at the moment, that is the Cameroonian head of state, is no longer in a condition to make long trips. We also remember that Radio France Internationale returned in a column signed by Jean-Baptiste Placa on Paul Bia's last trip to Switzerland last May. Analyzing the information given by the Swiss press, Jean-Baptiste Placa was of the opinion that the Cameroonian head of state Paul Bia could really no longer return to Geneva. He stated, To put it soberly, let's say that she clearly announced that Paul Bia was in Switzerland for treatment and underlined that this could be the last of his very many trips to Geneva. Why the last? No one knows if this prognosis is definitively based on a medical source or if it simply refers to the 89 years of President Paul Bia. The ultimate speed is that Paul Bia is today the oldest head of state in office in the world. Let us forget the classics on the insolently luxurious lifestyle of the Cameroonian presidential couple in Geneva. On the other hand, we will have to have it explained to us one day why this president loves distant Switzerland so much, 12 times smaller than his beautiful Cameroon and its majestic sights, its wealth, its skills in all fields including medicine. And why this fixation on a Switzerland which loves him less and less or perhaps only ever loved him for his money.